Alright, so welcome back to my channel, The Ships Peters TV. And before I go on, I would like to thanks to my 2,800 subscribers. Thank you for all guys for subscribing me. And for today's vlog, I would like to share my idea on how to repair this 8 a uh, 6 inch pipe with 30, 45 degrees elbow so pag-usapan natin dito kung paano ko i-repair itong tubo na hindi na kailangan tanggalin at susukatan natin at gagawa tayo ng bago so after this uh, we'd like to take all the measurements and we make new one in the workshop because uh, if we take out this pipe it will be consume a lot of uh, time so this pipe is uh, very important because this pipe is used for atmospheric condenser this pipe is cooling to the atmospheric condenser so only things that we can do this pipe is to measure the all the dimensions so that we can make the new one in workshop so for those who asking me on how to to take the measurement of PCD and now you see that uh, I use this outside caliper to take the PCD of these plants. So, but this is not the final. This is only the partial because we base the final is we base on impa book. So after this, we looking in the impa book if our measurement is in uh, correct. So I measured here is. 228 the PCD so we find the, the impa so I confer to my uh, dimension of 150 nominal size of pipe or equivalent to 6 inches the PCD is here is 230 as you see there is 230 so it means that the correct uh, PCD of that pipe is 230 as you see there is 230 huh? 6 inches pipe the PCD is 230 so yung sukat ko kanina ay hindi yun final dito ako nagbabasi sa impabok dahil ang sukat ko doon ay 228 so dito sa impabok ay nakalagay ay 230 Ito po ang channel ng Ships Peter TV. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat pusong nagpapasalamat kung maklik ninyo ang subscribe button sa baba. So difference uh, 2 mm. So I follow out and susundin ko itong 230. So ngayon uh, nakapag tacking na ako ng uh, tubo at luckily mayroon akong nakuhang uh, elbow na 45 degrees so now I start uh, tacking I'm lucky that we have uh, this 45 degrees elbow on board that, that is the last one so by the next time if there's any problem pipe seem this degrees 45 degrees so we make a new one by cutting this pipe so as of now this is the last the last uh, elbow that i use but next time if i make six inches pipe with the 45 elbow so i make my own uh, elbow by cutting this six inches pipe so as you seen there i mark the plants in half so that I can uh, make center from the top and the bottom 
So nakikita niyo yan ay minarkahan ko itong plants na to ng hati. So i-coincide ko itong uh, marka sa taas at i-coincide ko rin ang marka doon sa ilalim upang malaman natin na ang ating plansa ay nasa sentro. Yan, sa ilalim ito ay nakasentro at sa taas ay nakasentro. Pati dito. After that, uh, we I taking uh, weld in this uh, one of these plants so that I can uh, confer my measurement from the old pipe. So that is the idea on how to make this pipe and also the plants in sintering position. And now I try to show you on how to make this uh, pipe in in my workshop without taking the old one or without take pattern from the old pipes. So papakita ko sa inyo dito kung uh, paano ko ginawa itong tubo na hindi na kailangan nating gamitan ng ng luma na pattern. So nagbabase ako dito sa degrees caliper na to. Dahil 45 degrees 'yon ay sasit ko dito ang uh, degrees caliper na ito ng 45 degrees para malaman ko kung nasa tamang 45 degrees ako. Yan. So nakikita nyo na ay nasa 45 degrees ako. So it means that my tacking position of this elbow is in correct position. So I continue for this and I start uh, tacking uh, welding. So this is the procedure on how to make the 6 inches pipe with 45 elbow. By alignment of these plants, we use this ang we use this uh, plant square. So ang tawag dito sa iba ay square hapon. Ang plant square na ito ay yan ang nag nag correct uh, angle sa ating plants. So Now I start attacking and I also give allowance the inner pipe is enough to to is to wielding of these plants from the inner side so I list only 5 mm both side then After that, I make a full wheel. So, this is the final uh, tacking. And after this, uh, we conduct uh, pole wheel welding. So, by pole wheel welding of this pipe, we must to take three passes. First pass, or root pass, hot pass, and capping. By the use of 7018 uh, wheeling rod 2.5 and the capping is and the capping we use 3.2 mm wheeling rod. So now I start uh, wielding the root pass and after that uh, we use. 2.5 for uh, second pass or hot pass and then uh, the capping is I said before 3.2 millimeter so that is the procedure on how to weld this pipe by using LH or 7018 welding run so that it will be strong enough to hold the pressure and also the to hold the vibration 
all right so up till make a cupping and all finish uh, welding we try to make chipping so pagkatapos na i-pole weld ko ang lahat ng plants at saka yung dugtungan ay kailangan nating eh, i-chipping upang makikita natin kung may mga problema pa sa ating welding and we try to chipping of this uh, welding in order to take out the flux and also we try to find out if there is any problem of my welding so as I seen there's you know, there's any problem so this pipe is already finished and is successfully done and after lunch we put this in position because now it's almost 12 o'clock so we need to take break and lunch after 1 o'clock we try to put it back so this plans I start 10 o'clock so it means that 2 hours making this pipe so maybe 1 o'clock we put in position because we are now in anchorage and our anchorage is only limited time maybe 5 o'clock we give up the anchor and proceed to berting for speed so now it's already finished and maybe we put it back maybe half hour or one hour like that so this pipe is already finished and we transfer this pipe to the location so that uh, after lunch we try to box up so now I transfer this pipe in position that is the pipe that we change and there's uh, too much problem there and this is the new pipe that I make in couples of hours ago and after this I take lunch break then one o'clock we try to put it back in position so that is the advantage of making new make new one without taking the old one so that it will be leasing or lesser the time to box up so this uh, kind of uh, procedure is in Tagalog is kabitanggal so or tanggal kabit ganun so we take out and put it back that is the good procedure on this kind of pipe because the this pipe is limited time to stop because if longer time to stop this this uh, atmospheric condition it will be coming too much steam or smoke from there so we gi we have a chance just for today and the they give us about two hours to boxing up so that is the the way on how to make it since the beginning I show you on how to make this pipe without taking the the taking out the old one and now we make the new one and ready for boxing up and now just only finish to put it back in position and the time duration is about uh, one hour almost one hour and all the bolt hole is coincide to the bolt hole of this 
bulb and also the bolt hole from down is already coincide so that is the secret on how to make coincide between the two plants by only sintering sintering the plants and also the angle position so that is the secret on how to align or to put the plants in correct position and this pipe is already working all the bulbs are open and back to normal position operation so just only one hour to put it back because we use uh, pneumatic tools to loosen the old bolts and also tightening we also use the pneumatic tools and that is the procedure on how to make this pipe and to be listen the time as I said before that this pipe is uh, limited time to stop because this uh, pipe is used for cooling to the atmospheric condenser because the this pipe is passing inside is seawater and cooling to the atmospheric condenser which is the steam dumping there and they make cooling to get a condensation so now we are uh, successful to our project for today and as you see the mark pin there in the old pipe that is the that is my reference during the taking the measurement of the so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you all guys are uh, enjoy and also you can get the idea for my blog for today i hope that you can get the proper and you can use this uh, blog as a reference of your uh, future job and thank you very much Ito po ang channel ng Ships Peter TV. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat kung maklik ninyo ang subscribe button sa baba.